we're going to look at a couple of ways of solving linear inequalities. So we'll enter main, check there's nothing there, and start with this first inequality. So we'll get the keyboard up and head down to Math 3 tab. This is where the inequality signs uh, live. So off we go, 3 minus 4x has to be greater than 9. And we'll tap Execute. Classpad slightly adjusted the left-hand side, but that's fine. Now, if we are solving this with a pen and paper type of routine, the first thing we might do is subtract 3. So we'll tap the subtract key and notice that ClassPad's inserted answer before it. It's going to subtract 3 from this previous inequality. I'll tap execute and it's done so. The next step is to divide both sides by negative 4. So here we go, divide by negative 4. Tap execute and our inequality has been solved. Now, that was a pen and paper method. What about using the solve command? Well, here we go. Let's take a copy of our inequality, drag it down to a new line, tap execute. We could have just put the word solve, of course, at the start of the line. Remember, solve also lives under action advanced solve. We'll just escape out of there. Um, now, if I tap execute, again, the inequality has been solved by ClassPad and we get the same result. Note how ClassPad deals with any and uh, no real solution. So for example, if we had that x uh, was um, plus two was greater than or equal to x, and then we ask ClassPad to solve it, it says x is equal to x, which basically means all values of x will satisfy this inequality. What about if we had a slightly different one? Uh, maybe this time let's have x plus 2 is greater than or equal to x plus 3. Now when I tap execute, straight away ClassPads deduce there is no solution to that one. 